Thomas had never been the first operation. He hadn't even been second. What shed number 17 contained was evidence of several attempts to create a tank engine with Thomas's DNA. These had been early tests made by people with no experience of an experiment on this scale. Ill-planned and unprepared, these procedures had used DNA from the human Thomas and had been as much the real Thomas as the tank engine the world had come to know and love. To us, Thomas the tank engine had been the Thomas we all knew as a boy. Part of the family the whole island's population had known and respected since Wilhelm first arrived. In actuality, this tank engine was no more the real Thomas than all the failed creations made over the 12 months before. This Thomas had all the human Thomas's memories and experiences. He had learned what Thomas had learned, known who Thomas had known, but so had all the previous failures. Wilhelm and Hans Goetze had had to learn through trial and error how to bring their Thomas back from the dead. The following experiments had not had the same work put into them, resulting in the freak engines and aircraft that had developed so many problems on Sodor Island and around the world. In Shed 17, Thomas wouldn't discover who he was, but in fact, who he wasn't. As time passed, we stopped asking all the questions we had at first. We were just glad our friend was back with us. He could work for us. He became our servant in a way. Someone who drew in the crowds. Helped create jobs. Was eager to work. Thomas always thought of us as his friends. Sadly, over time we came to think of him as just really useful.